It's the first day of TechCrunch Disrupt New York. Lyft and Waymo partner up on self-driving car technology. Sam Altman could potentially be running for governor of California and more. It's Monday, May 15th, and this is Crunch Report, brought to you by the high-performance, highly intelligent BMW 5 Series. What up, TechCrunch land? We're in the midst of day one of TechCrunch Disrupt New York. Not only has it been a hoot, but a hoot and a holler. Yeah, that good. Shout out to the Revive team from yesterday for winning the hackathon with their ADHD diagnosing VR project and all the other participants. Keep up the hustle, I love it. Let's jump into the news. Lyft and Waymo are partnering up in the autonomous driving car game, according to a new deal first reported by the New York Times on Sunday. The deal will see Google's former self-driving car unit work together with the ride-hailing company on efforts to introduce self-driving to the general population via fleet services. The move indicates Waymo might be closer to commercializing this technology than many may have thought. The Alphabet-owned company is arguably the player in the space with the most experience, with nearly a decade of development work. But with Uber hot on its tail and its legal tie-ups with Waymo, it'll definitely be fun and a nail-biter to see who gets to market first. And the latest addition to the next Y Combinator batch is... The state of California. In a column in the San Francisco Chronicle, former mayor Willie Brown made it pretty clear that Sam Altman, leader of the Y Combinator group, is planning on running for governor against Lieutenant Governor Gavin Newsom in 2018. There's about 42,000 interesting things about that potential matchup, but most obviously, both Newsom and Altman are technologists. In any ordinary election, Newsom could be the young, hip, tech-savvy politician. He's got a book on how important it is for governments to embrace technological innovation, and he's launched a tool that applies facial and voice recognition to legislative proceedings. That's quite a step forward from Trump's What is Digital? But Altman takes things even a step further. He believes tech shouldn't just support government, it should be the foundation of government. Altman has a long-standing interest in universal basic income, and Y Combinator's research arm has explored how technology could lead to better city design and targeted delivery of its city services. It's really too early to make any statements about how the race could shape up, but man, could this election be any more California? Oh, hold on to your bridges, cowboy. We got ourselves some sweet acquisition news. Apple has picked up Lattice Data, a company that applies an AI-enabled interface engine to take unstructured dark data and turn it into more usable information. We heard from a single source that Apple has paid around 200 million for the company. The deal was closed a couple of weeks ago, the source said, and about 20 engineers have joined the larger company. Lattice quietly raised at least 20 million funding from GV, Madrona, and InQtel before exiting from Stealth last year. Lattice was founded in 2015 and has largely remained under the radar. It's unclear who Lattice has been working with or how Apple intends to use the technology, but AI, baby, AI and everything. AI is hot, $200 million hot. That's the report for today. I'm Tito Hamzy. Crunch Report is every weekday at 7 p.m. Eastern, 4 p.m. Pacific on techcrunch.com. You can find us on iTunes and on YouTube. And guys, everybody, we'll see you tomorrow from Disrupt. Peace.